So we're going to start by linking our drums to the mixer. This is our drum. Select, select, select. Then we're going to go to where all the drum elements are playing at the same time. For example, right here, we'll solo each and every one of it. And then we'll start by gain staging. So we'll solo the kick. Good old EQ. Then the next most recurring part of the drum, which is the snare. When EQ, you don't want to EQ your sounds that it changes the character of the sound. We still want to preserve the true nature of the sound, but we just want to cut out the muddy frequencies of your kick, your snare, percussions, high hats, and all of that. Now for your high hats and shakers and the likes, you want to tame the high frequencies, which can sound really harsh in the mix. We're going to pan the kick, the snare slightly, less than 10% left or right, depends on where you are convenient with. Then the high hat is going to be a bit more, let's say 10 to 15 percent. This is just a range, not really set in stone. Alright, so we're going to group all of this and we're going to route it drum boss. Then we're going to listen. Then we're going to do some things here. We're going to um, add compression, but we're going to use waves compression to add some smack, some glue to the drums. See how hard the drums is hitting now, it's really punchy. So the input is what sets the tone for the compression of what comes in with using the CLA76 compressor. So we're going to add EQ to tame some sharp um the if you notice the shaker sorry the hi-hat became sharper than before
Perfect. So now we're going to go on to mixing our melody sound. We'll start with the chord. I want to spread it out a little bit so it occupies more of the stereo field so it sounds a bit more heavier than it truly is. I'm going to use um, Stereo Enhancer. But if I do it too much, it's going to sound too thin in the stereo mix. So I'm just, just a little bit of um, enhancement, nothing much. That sounds good. So next, we want to come to where all the elements or most of the elements are playing at the same time. This is where we can easily get balance. So we're going to have this, turn this on. to EQ that. Next, we're going to come here. We're going to link it to the mixer. Control L. If you notice, I pan this in opposite direction to the reverse piano sound because this pad right here kind of has the same feeling with the reverse piano part. So when you have similar elements that sound close to each other or within the neighborhood of each other, you point them in opposite direction so they can be really clear in the mix. So going to EQ that. going to add some reverb so that increase the decay and then next I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to link it right here that as well and then next I'm going to come right here this is the lead melody or rather the lead most recurring or catchy melody, whichever you want to call it. It's lead melody in the chorus or in the hook. So we're going to turn that on and then try to get it to fit in.
So I'm going to add some extra reverb to the melody so it has more space on its own. And then next, we're going to turn on the 808. So for the 808, we're going to do some side changing, but before we do that, let's make sure we EQ it properly. So to sidechain, we simply come here and select this guy right here, then right click, track routing, sidechain to this track. So it's sidechain as you can see, and we're gonna come here and then we're going to go to fruity limiter under dynamics. If yours is sorted out, we're going to go to compression, right click, kick four. We're going to turn this all the way down, then the ratio all the way up. Depends on how much sidechain side you want. So I like to add a little bit of saturation or distortion to my um, it to it. So I'm going to have that, but before the um, saturate, before the side chaining, of course. If I turn turn it off, turn the side chain off the side sounds. Sounds really clean and clear. So that's how the mix, this is a quick mix to get your beat to sounding right. Um, it could be much more detailed than this, but of course an artist could use this and get a pro record straight out the bat, but this is a quick mix to get your beat sounding right, to get it ready for artists to record, use, um, distribute and so much more. So it sounds pretty good and that is how to get your dancehall beats 
banging really hard. This is going to bang really hard in the clubs. The drums are punchy. The eight is is clean, round, and smooth. And it's all going to really knock in the clubs. And of course, any artist that hears is going to surely want to drop some bars, some a verse, a hook, or whatever on these beats. All right, now.